This agency, which would be a Frontex Plus, could be already operational in autumn. And in autumn it already should have much more capabilities than existing Frontex. The EPP Group's Artis Pabriks, after a committee of the European Parliament this week approved plans for a European border guard and coast guard to better deal with a migrant crisis. The legislation is now in so-called trilogue talks between the European Parliament, Commission and Council. The guard, which will combine Frontex agents with national authorities, is to be twice as large as Frontex with 1,000 permanent staff. It will be able to mobilize an additional 1,500 experts within three days. 1,500 people will be uh, constructed where each country is basically contributing to this rapid reaction force. A force that is urgently needed, Pabrik said, just days after another 700 migrants drowned in the Mediterranean and the agents can intervene if a member state is unwilling or unable to deal with a sudden migrant inflow. If the country is incapable to safeguard its sovereignty and borders, it should and could apply to the help for European Union. That help can include drone surveillance and sea rescue. The Border Guard Agency could also help in returning migrants to their home countries if they don't qualify for asylum. If there is a need, the agency can, uh, can assist with personnel as well as with equipment, including planes. The creation of this agency on the basis of Frontex will not be a silver bullet to uh, every problem, but at the same time, if we are looking in a broader scale, we can see that uh, the events of the last three years proves that sometimes passivity and inactivity in the political circles are actually costing more including more lives. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu.